Colorado has been fertile soil for the Capuchins. From humble beginnings, two friars at Annunciation Catholic Church, we have now expanded to five fraternities in the state. In fact, of the 70-some friars and candidates in our province, almost half of them, 35 to be exact, live in Colorado. Many of our recent vocations have come from the state, which has cemented our relationship even more. Today, just as 50 years ago, we continue to be men of the church, serving where we are needed most. In the person of Father Charles Polifka, we still care for Annunciation Catholic Church, where our Colorado story began. In fact, we built our own friary there about 20 years ago as a way of saying, you can count on us, we aren't going anywhere. We also assumed the care of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish in Colorado Springs, which, like Annunciation, is a poor, predominantly Hispanic parish. The current pastor there is Father John Tepfer. For nearly 20 years, the Catholic Center at the Citadel has been offering its unique blend of evangelization to the people of Colorado Springs, taking the church into the modern marketplace. We also continue, continue to be brothers of the people. Some of our earliest ministries to the poor and marginalized continue to this day, while others have evolved in tune with the changing needs of society. Father Michael Shusnicki carries on our long tradition of caring for the homeless at Samaritan House. Numerous friars continue to visit the incarcerated around Denver and beyond. Father Regis Scanlon laid the foundations for the Julia Greedy Home, a ministry that helps women to rediscover their dignity and achieve self-sufficiency. In 2018, thanks to a generous gift from the Routson Family Foundation, we began serving food to the homeless out of our food truck, seeing the poor not as charity cases, but as sons and daughters of God, and therefore our brothers and sisters who have an intrinsic human dignity, we wanted to provide them with fresh, healthy food. Sunday mornings would often find Father Joseph Elder, and Brother Jude Quinto, and many other friars from both Denver and Colorado Springs, providing not only food, but human warmth and spiritual support to hundreds of the city's homeless. In this time of coronavirus, the mission of our food truck has further expanded to bringing meals several times a week to senior citizens and frontline medical professionals. As the effects of the coronavirus continue to exert themselves, more families and individuals are seeking emergency relief than we've ever witnessed in our lifetime. Our men in formation have responded to the need by working extra hours in soup kitchens, on the streets, and helping at food pantries. Our Capuchin food truck has and will continue to serve thousands of meals to those in need, including first responders and frontline workers at our local hospitals. Our hospital chaplains have become more resolute with each passing day, regardless of risk. They work alongside healthcare workers, responding to the emotional and spiritual needs of the sick, dying and spiritually troubled during this tumultuous time. Nothing of what we have accomplished in these past 50 years would have been possible without the help of thousands of friends we have made along the way. Your support is more critical than ever today so that we can make sure that no one is forgotten and no one is pushed aside. Please consider making a gift today. We are better brothers of the people thanks to people like you. Friars and friends, better together.